Hey everyone, welcome to our devotional reading uh, in week one of 2022. We are in Ruth chapter two, and we continue with verse uh, 13 through 23 in today's reading. As, as we've talked about before, Ruth is, is a story that starts with tragedy. Ruth is, is a woman that has is, uh, is desiring to stay with her mother-in-law even after she loses everything. She loses uh, her husband. She loses her brother-in-law. She's, she's lost her way of life. And so she is deciding that she's going to have integrity and commit to, to be with and, and, and commit to her, her mother-in-law. And what happens in the story is that she begins to glean the fields. And what that looks like is that she is going and, and pick, going around the edges of farms and, and taking uh, food for, for her home for to, so that she can feed her mother-in-law. And what happens in this story is that Boaz takes a notice of her. And in this passage we read in verses 13 through 23, we see that Boaz is very much taking an interest to her. Now, it may not be romantic at this point, but, but Boaz is very uh, warm and welcoming to, to Ruth uh, because, because Ruth is, is a woman of integrity. She is she's working. He hears about what she's doing for her mother-in-law. So he's like, I, I want to take care of Ruth. Well, when Ruth comes back home, Naomi realizes what is going on. She realizes that Ruth has a redeemer. You see, uh, Boaz was a as, was a relative that she could marry. There was a, it was a, it was a person that she could marry. She couldn't just marry anybody she wanted to. She needed to to marry someone in that redeemer family because she had lost her husband, and so there had to be some relation to that family for her to marry. And so she she uh, is is now in a position where Naomi realizes, hey, if you continue to pursue this. God's going to bless you because this is the avenue which God has has given you a redeemer. You see, we started this story with tragedy. We started the story where things are going wrong. But then we continue the story and see that Ruth has integrity. That Ruth is still being faithful to her family. She's being faithful to her mother-in-law. She's being faithful to her calling. She's being faithful to the God that she committed to worship when she married her husband. And now the four fruits of that are, are coming forth now. She she is now beginning to uh, have an opportunity to find someone that can, can marry her and that she can be brought back into a life of, of normalcy. She can be uh, brought into a family, into a family. And so Ruth is, is sees how God is working. Again, when we see the stories that, that, in this in the beginning we saw that there's tragedy but sometimes the setback is the setup you see god is doing an amazing work in this story god is setting ruth up for something amazing because she was obedient because she was being faithful to her calling and god had orchestrated this to to her to her good so let's remember that, that sometimes when we see bad things happen in our life, so whenever we're going through difficult circumstances, God hasn't forgotten us, that he will still be with us. He will still work his plan to completion. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue the book of Ruth.